everyone um it's m june the 4th 2024 um i'm um gonna say a quick prayer before i get started with the message for today um and i'm gonna be sharing at the end also um um some a few things that that have happened so um lord jesus i thank you father i pray for the hearts to receive this message that they take everything to you i pray that we all do not lean on our own understanding and seek truth, know truth, want truth, and come to you for truth, Father God, that you would guide our thoughts, our hearts, our minds, and our souls to seek you wholeheartedly, Lord. I plead the blood of Jesus over my brothers and my sisters, their homes, their jobs, their coming and their going, their family and their children, Lord, over the lost, the confused, the backslidden, the lukewarm, that we would all come together with truth, Lord, that we would seek you wholeheartedly, one accord, Lord, one heartbeat, all walking towards your will, your way. Lord Jesus, have your way, Father God. Let this message go to everybody that needs to hear it. I give you glory, honor, and praise in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Okay. Um, the first part is um, a message. It's, it's a private message, but there's parts in here. I'm not going to read the whole thing, but there's parts in here that... Um, is is going to be important for you guys um so the lord has called me to a fast and i believe he's calling everybody to a fast if you've been called chosen um 144,000 um the faithful if you feel i don't pray about it um he's calling a three-day fast so um there's instructions in here for me, but, um, so I'll just kind of read that. Um, sit at my feet during your fast, stay in repentance, call on me, prepare your heart, mind, and soul for ascension, kingdom minded child. Now is that time crucial. Pray with expectancy for all your family and loved ones. Pray for your enemies that they come out of the darkness into the light. And when he said that, I was like, I don't think I had any enemies, but maybe I do. So um, pray about everything so, because I, I could think that I don't have enemies, but I mean, because maybe I don't, don't have anybody as enemies, but maybe they might be enemies towards, I don't, I don't know. I have to pray and kind of seek that. But I did, when he gave me this, um, I did think about some coworkers that I used to work with that um, weren't very nice to me. So maybe I, they're, they're the ones I need to pray for and um, cleanse my heart towards them. So pray about everything that um, the Lord is talking to because it's it, this isn't just for me. This is for, for everybody. Um, pray about it and see if this applies to you. I'm going to read that again. Pray for your enemies that they come out of the darkness into the light. Love those who love those who have done you wrong. Pray for their souls. Now is the time to reflect and forgive and love all. Clean those heart chambers. Do a heart inventory. Well done, my good and faithful. You have been faithful with little. I will bless you with much. Know that where much is given, much is expected. Expectations are higher for my own. Standards are higher for my royal priesthood. As I say, you represent me. I am your light, your lamp to your feet, and a light to your path. Apart from me, you can do nothing, but with me, all things are possible. I am the God of impossible. If you think it, you believe it. Know that I am the God of impossible, and you are mine. Bought with a high price, the blood that was shed was for a purpose. You are not your own. Jesus came in the flesh to set the captives free. Be free, my children. Tear off those shackles. Dry bones come alive. Awaken my slumbered. Walk in the authority I give you. We win. Walk in that knowing and confidence. This is amazing grace. My own know my voice and they follow me. Come now, follow me to the ends of the earth. Ascension is upon you. Come now, my warriors. Fast prayer, fast prayer, fast prayer. It is essential, a very necessity. Bring me your burdens. Faith, faith, faith of a mustard seed. 
cleanse those garments with my word. Know me, not many know me, not just hold on, I'm sorry. Know me, not just know of me. Know me, not just of of me, but truly seek relationship. It is a daily walk. Walk the walk. The time is now. Apart from me, you can do nothing. Jesus is the Lord of Lord and King, King of Kings, the beginning and the end of all things, big and small. Love one another. Pray for all. It is imperative. You pray for their hearts. You serve a good a God of impossible. Walk in that knowing and understanding. Yeshua, the true Messiah, Jesus the Christ of Nazareth, the King of Kings. Come now, my good and faithful. Apart from me, you can do nothing. And um, so now I'm going to share something that um, it was a it was a lot of stuff going on. So I had a um, a supernatural. That's how I'm going to explain it because I can't, I can't, I, I don't even know how to explain it. Um, it's, it was like a supernatural situation. Um, and then I went into some visions and then I went into a deep sleep and into a dream. So, um, and this is the best that I can explain it. You can believe it, don't believe it. It doesn't really matter, but I feel like somebody needs to hear this. So, um, yesterday in the morning, um, I finished my, my, in the this the, in the morning when I wake up when the Lord wakes me up I I I have my prayer time, I do my um. My communion, I pray I send out my prayers. Well, there's a few people I send out that early because it's it's usually around three four in the morning. Um, I send out my prayers. I'm reading the Bible. Um, there's a lot that goes on in in the early mornings, so it was it, I thought it was kind of weird that um I finished everything um around four something usually I I don't finish to go to I'll take I go I'll go to sleep for a couple hours but I usually finish about at, somewhere around five in the morning but um I finished early so I was like okay I get I'm gonna go to sleep early S earlier so I I w went to go to sleep and it was like I was not I was like in I don't know what it's called. It has to be, I know it's called something, but you're not awake, but you're not asleep. You're like in half asleep. And that a lot of times is where, where we, where we all get words, I'll get visions. I get a lot, my visions are during that time, but usually it's waking up this time. It was going to sleep. So as I'm laying there, I had a very weird experience. And that's I don't know how else to explain it. I'm I'm sleeping, and I I wear a mask to go to sleep to keep it dark. But um, I felt tingling from the top of my head all through my body, like tingling. And I I'm ninety nine point sure I was awake, because I remembered everything. I even I even remembered thinking um, my dog didn't wake up like I, I felt like I was moving I don't I don't know if I can't remember if I was but it was so much tingling and it was um my entire body for a good while and I could I knew I was awake because I could hear my my ear was um um ringing for some reason the the kind of it was only one one side of my ear though like um like when you're sick and you kind of just feel your ears ringing um so my and I felt it like intense like tingling my entire body was tingling and um and I just started praying I was I was worshiping the Lord I was I was I knew that it had something to do with ascension I didn't know what it was but I knew that it was I just knew um as I'm praying I'm going into a vision and in the the first vision I was seeing snow lots and snow lots of snow and then it went into uh and this whole time my body is tingling completely the whole time and then it it's like slowed down and then it ting it 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 came back a little bit not as intense but a little bit more um and then the vision went into um a river i could see a river and i could see just streams of water um going through um 
and then I could see um, a procedure being done in my in my mouth, like uh, on my teeth. And I thought that was weird because I was like, there's nothing wrong with my teeth. But then I'll tell you the story about it behind that. I'll come back and, and explain everything. Um, and then I went into a and then I went into a dream. And in my dream, I saw a prophet. Um, I don't know this person. I'm not going to say this person's name. But um, I saw a prophet and I was explaining everything that, that I just went through. Like I explained everything. And um, so when I, she, she told me um, it wasn't the asc ascension, but it, it was, it was something, she gave me a name of what, what I, what I had just gone through. I couldn't, I can't remember it though. When I woke up, I could not remember it. Um, so I'm going to go, now I'm going to go back. So I believe when I, when I pray and I, I do my um, communion, I always pray, Lord, wash me in your blood, make me white as snow. So I believe that's the cleansing is the white as snow in the river. I, I'll, I'll pray. Um, I, I pray for rivers. What is that? Um, rivers of living water um is what the river was about i believe um and so then as corruptible is made incorruptible i am very healthy there is nothing i've i've never broken a bone i don't have any any anything i i've always been healthy the only time i've gone to the hospital is for my babies when they were born I think the most that I've done is I've never broken a bone the most that I probably have done is a uh, sprained an ankle barely and one thing that has happened to me and it was when I was 15 I fell on my face and my tooth completely came out they were able to save it but 15 16 four years later I got hit in the face so bad um so hard that it it pulled my my um my tooth came like popped out not all the way but within the next year it, or, or two it it was starting to die so i've had like so many procedures on this tooth and and the final thing was like right before um i probably have had like five procedures the final thing is i had like a bone surgery to get um, a fake tooth on there so in my dream when I, I literally saw somebody working on my face working on my on my tooth and um, so that's when I, I knew that um, that was in oh and there was another thing and I, I while I was being worked on um, from whatever because that's the only thing that that needs to heal in my body um, I knew that I can see now from, um, in the spirit in, and it's not all good. It's, I could see bad and good in the spirit while I was ha being worked on. I could see stuff going on around me and I wasn't scared or anything, but I knew that I could see now I, um, as I was being made fixed from my, from, from my tooth. I knew that um, I could see in in the spirit now. Um, so I think the tingling was um, is from when we get when we um, are going to go through our first ascension. I, I don't know. I think I think something's going to happen. Uh, there's going to be a, a few from what I'm understanding um, things that we'll go through. First, we're going to go through one. I don't know how to explain it. There's going to be a first um, impartation, maybe I can ex say it that way. But um, anyways, the first is, the first ascension is going to be um, something that is not as extreme because there's going to be another one that's going to be more extreme. So I, I believe so. I think that that the tingling had to do with the ascension. So after the, I think this is how the, the Lord was probably the. Ex I'm understanding. Is the, that was the ascension or after the ascension I'll we're gonna be fixed 
or it for we're going to be incorruptible to from corruptible to incorruptible and then we're going to be able to see in the spirit and it's not, and we're going to be able to see good and bad um and we're going to be cleansed as white as snow and have rivers of living water go through us i mean i think that's holy spirit but you guys can correct me on that I'm still learning with you guys. I am far, far, far from perfect. I just let the the, the Lord use, use me. Use me, Lord, and help me to understand. Give me discernment and understanding. Um, so that's what I experienced. And um, that was where the, light, the lighting went on there. But um, I just wanted to share that. I've been praying about it all day. And I, yesterday I was just in, I, I woke up from my dream and I really went and I, I checked my, my body. <laughs> I checked my tooth. Um, but yeah, so um, pray about it. Um, and let me know what you guys think at the, at the bottom. But I'm just sharing my experience. This is what I experienced. And um I didn't know if anybody had al else had experienced anything like that, but um, I believe Ascension is very, 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 very soon. So um, fast, do your three-day fast. We've been work really, really, really working towards this is the goal. This is the goal to do your three-day fast, um, and it's very important. It cleanses you. It brings you closer to the Lord. It's, it is so important. He said, pray and um, fast and pray, fast and pray, fast and pray. And now's that time. Um, it's time to get your three-day fast in. So God bless you guys. Um, pray about everything. Take these messages to the Lord and um, get in your Bibles. Read, seek him with all of your heart, mind, and soul. Um, it's so, it's so um, important right now to come close to him as much as you can. And um, God bless you guys. Pray, pray, pray. Know that Jesus is the only way, the only truth to everlasting life. And we are living in a time unlike never before. And it's so exciting. And it's, um, we just need to prepare our hearts for all that is to come, all that we need to do. Prepare, prepare and know what we need to say to our, all those around us to get those souls saved. And pray for all of your family members, your all of those closest to you, your neighbors, your your kids, your children, your family, the lost, the slumbered, everybody, everybody that thought we were crazy at the beginning, they're going to be um, coming to you for help because they're not going to understand. They're not going to understand that uh, everything that they've been told is not how it is. Um, and the Lord has been preparing us all these, these last couple of years for, for now, for to have the words ready for our, our, our loved ones. So pray for boldness, knowledge, wisdom, understanding. Lord Jesus, give us the words for our family members that they would, they would get saved and have eyes and ears and heart to take in all of your, all of your truth. Because that's what we need. We're going to need to be showing them truth, telling them truth. And we need to pray that they accept the Lord's truth. God bless you guys. I love you.